Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is very requested. You guys have been wanting a side-by-side -side comparison of the Dyson Airwrap and the new Shark Flex Style on curly hair. I have very curly hair. I actually have 3B curls. And I recently got a little trim. I don't know if you guys can tell, but let's get right into the video. By the way, this is my new bathroom. I'm so excited to start filming in here. It took us two months to get this bathroom to look like this it's just very bright very like modern looking so i'm loving it let me know if you guys want me to film some more videos in here i only have the old dyson air app by the way but i got the new one and i returned it because i just couldn't justify paying 600 dollars for a hair tool that i basically already own because the old one and the new one are so similar but if you guys want to see my review and a couple other videos that i filmed with the new dyson air app i'll link those videos down below but these are the air drying attachments of each hair tool the new dyson air app actually has a flyaway attachment as well with the air drying attachment so it's kind of like a two-in-one attachment which i really like and i prefer more than this one but i still feel like the drying of that attachment isn't as concentrated as this nozzle right here from the shark i really like that with the shark hair dryer you can flip it and turn it into a regular blow dryer and use the nozzle attachment and use the diffuser attachment i've used the diffuser attachment i love it so much it's kind of just like the other one that they have the other shark diffuser the shark blow dryer i'm going to put videos up here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but this one is just a tiny bit smaller but it is so good and I love using this diffuser. I love that you can leave the prongs down like this for the ends and just to dry all your hair. And then if you put them out, you can dry your roots super well this way. So yeah, I love that this brings a diffuser. It's like this hair tool is perfect for people with curly hair. It's like the perfect hair tool for curly hair. So I am loving it so far. And I forgot to mention the price. The Dyson Airwrap, the new one is $600. And this one, the Shark is only about $270. So it's like half the price. And the Shark also has really good technology that is not going to be damaging to your hair. It's not gonna give you extreme heat on your hair even though i do feel like the shark gets way hotter than the dyson but so far it's been great on my hair and i have very thick hair my hair is very curly so i kind of need a little bit of extra heat and i'm kind of used to it honestly so i feel like this hair tool gives me the perfect heat for my curly hair so yeah it's been great i've been loving 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 the shark hair tool the shark flex style something else that i love to do with the shark that i'm not able to do with the dyson is use this nozzle attachment and use a small round brush like this one to kind of flatten my edges a little bit and just smooth them out because sometimes using big brushes like this one the shark one is very big and sometimes it is a little bit hard to get those baby hairs so using the nozzle attachment with the small brush is perfect for that so i'm so glad that this has a nozzle attachment because i kind of see this hair dryer as like the dyson air app and the dyson supersonic in one but for half the price so i'm pretty impressed with this hair tool let's get right into the other attachments because this is just like my favorite feature of the hair tool honestly that you're able to flip it and turn it into kind of like a styler like the dyson air app but then flip it back down and it turns into like this drying mode and you're able to use it kind of like the dyson supersonic so it's amazing <laughs> so after i kind of like rough dried all my hair with both of the attachments the drying attachment with the dyson and the nozzle attachment with the shark i actually use the paddle brush attachment dyson has two paddle brush attachments and shark only has one right now i personally always use the firming attachment because it does give me a more smooth look and it works better for my coarse and thick hair if you have thinner hair you should go with the other one the only difference with the old one and the new paddle brush attachments is that the middle row also moves but for the old one, it doesn't move. As you can see, it doesn't move. I like this paddle brush attachment more and I like that the middle doesn't move because I feel like it gives me a little bit of a grip. So I need that, my curly hair needs that to get my hair smooth. So I prefer this one, the old one, more than the new one. And I honestly even prefer it more than the shark paddle brush attachment. I am not a fan of paddle brush attachments to smooth out my curly hair, but the Dyson Airwrap one is a little bit better at smoothing out my hair quicker than the shark, which is why I prefer to use the round brush 
with the shark so I'll explain that in a little bit since you have to hold your hair and bring the paddle brush down with your other hands I feel like if your hair gets too hot it's very uncomfortable to do that and that's what I feel on the shark side when I use the paddle brush attachment on the shark side I feel like my hair gets too hot and it's a little bit hard for me to hold my hair and bring the paddle brush down whereas with the other side with the Dyson that doesn't happen because the Dyson doesn't get that hot but I don't feel that way when I'm using the round brush because I can just use one hand and I'm good to go I mean I can use both hands here and there but it's not like all the time I have to use both hands to use that attachment so I did a section on each side with wet hair just so you guys can see how each paddle brush works on my hair and I don't think I'm gonna reach for the shark paddle brush again I think I'm just gonna stick to the round brush I think it works for me and I love it so I'm just gonna stick to the round brush but if you like paddle brushes then check this one out you might like it so basically what I ended up doing was drying all my hair this side with the Dyson paddle brush attachment and then I touched up my hair with the round brush and on the shark side I just used the round brush for the whole thing so let's move on to the round brushes I honestly was like a little bit sad disappointed when Dyson came out with the new Dyson Airwrap and they did not do anything anything to the round brush attachment how are you gonna leave the round brush attachment like that just not do anything to it why can't they come out with a bigger round brush attachment i just want to know because i would love to use a bigger round brush attachment with the dyson airwrap i honestly never reach for my dyson airwrap to blow out my hair because of the round brush attachment because it just makes everything a lot more difficult like i dried most of my hair with the paddle brush attachment with the firm smoothing attachment and then i use the round brush just to kind of shape my ends a little bit but even that is a little bit hard to do with that attachment because it doesn't give you like that grip that you're looking for in a round brush and it's just so small there's not much you can do with it but shark on the other hand came out with a very nice round brush attachment and this one for me for my curly hair works super well i can understand if you have very thin hair that this might be a little bit rough for you the two bristles the board and like the plastic bristles might be a little bit too much and it could kind of pull your hair but for me this is what i need this is what my curly hair needs and this is perfect for me i really would love it if shark came out with a smaller round brush attachment i feel like that would be great for people with shorter hair for your bangs as well because sometimes i do feel like this is a little bit too big and i can see how this could be very big for a lot of people so i kind of got used to it because of the revlon one step hair drying volumizer so this is kind of like the same type of brush as the revlon so yeah i think that shark should definitely come out with a smaller round brush attachment that would be amazing i would use it as well and i think a lot of people would benefit from it so now let's move on to my favorite attachments the curling attachments i always love doing curls with the dyson air app because it doesn't damage your hair as much as using a curling wand a curling iron or even a straightener dyson actually has three curling barrel sizes they have the 0.8 inch they also have a 1.2 and a 1.6 inch so you're able to get so many different types of curls what i really like about the new dyson air app is that now you only need one barrel and this is going to switch direction for you and you can just use this barrel to curl all your hair so it's pretty cool i love that about the new dyson air app but i really also love the curls that i get with the shark i actually use the 1.2 inch on the dyson side and then the 1.25 inch on the shark side and i did notice that the curls on the dyson side were a little bit tighter because the wand is a little bit smaller and then the ones on the shark were a little bit bigger which i don't mind because those curls look very very nice and bouncy as well and i love those like bigger curls but yeah i do kind of prefer the 1.2 inch even though it's not a big difference um, I do prefer a tighter curl because it lasts a little bit longer But I also feel like the shark curls do last me a very long time Especially if I am going to clip them as some hairspray So yeah, I really really love the curls that I get with the Dyson and with the shark I like that the Dyson has more options more sizes the shark for now only has one size But I really really feel like they're gonna come out with the new ones in the future. So we're just gonna have to wait and see overall I really really love both hair tools, but if i had to choose just one 
I would pick the Shark just because it gives me a smoother blowout. It has all the attachments that I have been dying for. Like it has that big round brush attachment. It has a diffuser attachment. Like, come on, that's amazing for people with curly hair. And it has a nozzle attachment. You can even blow out all your hair with just the nozzle attachment and a round brush. So that's a big plus for me right there. I really feel like Shark can come out with so many attachments for this blow dryer. I mean, they can come out with the white tooth comb attachment, also a thinner nozzle for this. I mean, that would be amazing. They can literally come out with the flyaway attachment as well. And all these attachments you can use with just one same hair tool which is insane i also feel like they can come out with different sizes for this thinner ones even thicker ones even shorter ones for people with shorter hair so yeah there's just so much that they could do with this hair tool all right guys that is it for this video let me know in the comments down below which side you liked better did you like the dyson side better or did you like the shark side better let me know in the comments down below and also let me know if you have tried any of these hair tools before and yeah guys that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it please subscribe if you're liking my youtube channel so far and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye also, I just wanted to show you guys my YouTube plaque. It's here, guys. Thank you so much for 100K subscribers. This is insane. I am so grateful. And I can't believe I got this already in the mail. Like, that was so quick. Oh, my God. I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much. If you made it until this point of the video, until the very end, comment down below 100K. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much.